to DIY with Nancy. Today I'm going to show you how I make our all-time favorite red wine sangria. Now this is a sangria that we usually have when we have our friends gatherings, uh, families, birthday parties. It's simple to make and I'm going to show you how to make the red wine sangria step by step. As you can see I have all the ingredients here. I normally would make it if I'm going to make it for a bigger uh, crowd in um, a beverage dispenser. It's just easier to dispense the sangria. But for today's purposes, I'm going to show you how to make it in um, a pitcher. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to start off uh, by uh, placing in the pitcher red wine. And I have 750 milliliters, which is a bottle of wine. I'm going to pour it into the pitcher. Pour it all in there. And of course, this is going to be for an adult party or uh, adult family event. And to that, I'm going to add, for sweetness, I'm going to add about half a cup of Malibu. And I'm just going to measure the Malibu in. All right, half a cup. I'm going to pour it right in there. And I'm going to place half a cup of brandy. Now I have a bottle here with just a little bit left. I'm going to pour it in. Measure half a cup of some good brandy. You can also use vodka if you prefer, um, but for this recipe, I use brandy. Measure it. Mmm, I could smell it already. Half a cup of brandy in there. And then what I'm going to do is just add one cup of orange juice with no pulp. Okay, so I'm going to pour that in there. And I'm going to pour or place half a cup of granulated sugar. I'm going to start mixing that in just to stir in the sugar. Oh, I can smell it. I can tell you it's a hit when we have this, especially for the ladies. We love sangria. This is a great recipe to try. Um, I can tell you it's just delicious and simple to make. Okay, now what I'm going to pour in now is some fruit. I have, you can use any fruit that you like. Uh, I have apple, um, I have oranges, and I have strawberries. So for the strawberries, I'm just going to have four strawberries that I've sliced into uh, some slices here. Pour it in, ooh, it's filling up. And the apples, what I did is I used half an apple, and I'm going to, just set this aside for a second. And I'm just gonna cut it into uh, slices and then cube them. Just into little cubes. And I'm just using half an apple. And again, if you're going to double up on the recipe, you can add more fruit. Uh, you can also add blueberries if you'd like, uh, pineapple slices up to you, but generally, this is the fruit that I normally use. Okay, so I have half an apple cut into cubes. Place that in there. And here I have uh, some orange slices, which I've just cut in rounds. And again, I'm gonna cut them into smaller bite-sized pieces. So when you're drinking your um, red wine sangria, you can have a little piece of uh, fruit and oranges. Um, in this case, I'm cutting them in little small pieces and I'm leaving the peel on the oranges. So I'm gonna place that in there. I'm just placing a couple of uh, slices, some rounds. Again, if you're gonna make a bigger recipe, you can add more. And once again, I'm going to just stir it in and we're almost done. So what I do is I place this in the refrigerator overnight 
to chill. You want it nice and cold. If you're making it in the morning and you want to serve it in the evening, again, keep it in the refrigerator. And then when you're ready to serve it, you place uh, some ginger ale. We call it pop here in Canada. In the US, you call it soda. Uh, but I'm gonna pour it into the glass. Mmm, sangria looks so awesome. And I'm gonna add some ice. Mm. All right. And just gonna add a touch of ginger ale for that fizz. You can add an orange slice in there, or you can actually place it right on the uh, serving glass, just like that. And I have a straw, which I like to drink it with. Mm. Unbelievably delicious. So tasty. As you can see, it's a very simple, easy sangria, a red wine sangria that is. Now, I hope you all enjoy my recipe for red wine sangria. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Take care. Cheers. Cheers.